G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping, uh, here to bring you another quick video. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm in a white t-shirt. And um, <clears throat> the reason for this quick video is, as you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, that kind of thing, I've ordered some new t-shirts from Vistaprint. Um, and today I've got a box which is inside with two of these. Yep, yeah, you can see it, hopefully. I can't see the camera. Um, yeah. Mr. Print T-shirts. And, if I tilt the camera down a bit, mm, sorry. There we go. Yep. So I thought I'd try one on and just see how it is. And it, uh, it fits great. I've been trying to go a pretty cool back on it as well. You can see. Yeah. JWN, on care and landscaping. Um, nice big logo for you. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, Facebook Messenger. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're a little big, just a little bit, but they're, they're really nice. They like, fit well, because um, over here in Australia it gets really, really hot in summer, so... I can open it soon. Come on, I feel like the last one. Um, so yeah, you don't want to get something that's too... Oh, there we go. That's too um, dark-coloured, because it you, you'll boil in them. You just absolutely boil. And... You really don't want that when you're out mowing, because it's, yeah, it's just, it's not fun, you know, it's, no one likes frying while they're out mowing. Um, but yeah, so I've just, uh, taken out my second one. Here we go. Yay! Can you even see that? I can't even see the camera. There we go. Yeah, so it's kind of creased and stuff, but it hasn't been washed yet. There's the back part. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's got the... I own everything as we were seeing just before. Um, I'm really happy with these. Um, I'm I'm very happy with them. They came really quick. They uh, yeah. So you know, I, I couldn't ask for more honestly. I reckon I'm gonna get some more business cards and a custom cap soon as well. Cause I've already got one cap, but you know. Uh, let's just get another one that has the updated JWN. Uh, um, logo and everything. Um, and the logo hasn't really changed actually, but it's the um, it's the name that's changed. Uh, I'll explain the name change and all that kind of thing in another video. Um, but I don't have time to do that now because it's already, as you can probably tell, 7 p.m. So 7:05 to be precise. So I don't um, yeah, I've got work to do. I don't have time to stuff around making YouTube videos, that's kind of like an optional thing. Um, the, the thing I really need to do is pass year 10. That's, that's the real goal. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> so, Vistaprint t-shirts, I'm really happy with them, I can't wait to use them. I think, some of you might be thinking, oh, you know, why is he going white? Yeah, like, isn't it, isn't it going to get dirty and horrible? Well, actually, um, Ray from Pitwater Mowing, he's got uh, light grey ones, and they seem to do fine. I think if you're doing really heavy work, like, you know, shoving all around dirt and dust and mowing in really dusty conditions and all that kind of stuff, then, yeah, you're probably going to get them dirty. But, to be honest, that should just come out when you put them in the washing machine, and if it doesn't, you know, I've got plenty of fluoro shirts you will have seen me with, so if I'm doing any really dirty work, I can use those. But these for lawn mowing and stuff, they should be fine. Um... <clears throat> I can't see too many issues with them. But yeah, so I, I just thought I'd make this quick video before I um, chuck these in the washing machine because, you know, they kind of need to be washed because they smell weird. I don't know what that smell is. It smells odd, like chemicals and stuff. But yeah, so... <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, there's good stuff from uh, Vistaprint. Very quick shipping. I ordered these, actually. When did I order them? I'll just quickly check for you. Um, this print order is confirmed. That was on the 18th of May that I ordered those. And by the uh, 20th, they've been shipped, and it's now the 22nd, and they're here. So, yeah, not bad um, for standard shipping. I mean, they're not coming very far, but, you know, still, that's, that's decent. 
Um, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, and hopefully I'm going to uh, get my new Fitbit tomorrow. That's coming in the mail because my old Fitbit Charge HR stuffed up. I don't know if some of you guys wear Fitbits or whatever, but they, um, well, it was a common problem according to one of the ladies at the shop I took it to. Uh, she says it's like a bubble in the band above, above the electronics bit and, uh, you know, and the wristband was just about completely snapped off from the top part of the watch and uh, it was just, nah. So I was like, I wrote it to Vista Print, I'm like, yeah, Vista Print, um, Fitbit, and, um, I, I wrote to Vista, I'm gonna keep saying it, aren't I, I'm gonna keep saying Vista Print, shut up, Peter, um, but yeah, I was, um, I was going to, um, I, I wrote to Fitbit, Yes, there we go. I wrote to Fitbit and I said, look, you know, this is what's happened and, you know, I don't know what to do about it. I'm not sure what's happening with warranty and everything. And they were really good with it. They replied within about five minutes. And they're like, and this was after normal nine to five business hours. This is about five thirty, six o'clock in the evening. And they're like, oh yeah, James, we appreciate you, you know, notifying us. Yes, it's a common issue and blah, blah, blah. You know, send us some photos and we'll replace it. And yeah, so um, that was good. And, um... Yeah, also, I do have another video coming out for you. My last video, I said I was going to um, go to the Red Shed, and I was going to try and get a bit of footage. I do have a little bit of footage. I was kind of rushed because I had a production rehearsal, as I might have mentioned, to get to. But I did get a quick bit of footage on the HIU-196 I was looking at. Um, I didn't bother recording the HIU-19 or the zero turns, you see a little bit of the zero turns in the video, but I didn't bother with the HRU19, because the guy said, I said, look, I'm thinking about the HRU19 or the HRU196, he said, mate, just go with the 196, because, so for the bit of extra money, you're getting a full-on commercial engine, you're getting a blade brake instead of an engine brake, and all this kind of stuff, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting, um, but yeah, <clears throat> so I'm hopefully going to get that soon, and, uh, now Shannon, shut up, please, um, and this is why you don't go on messenger group chats, people. This is why. This is, yeah, this is why. But yeah, so um, I ran around there for a little bit, and um, then, yeah, so I got, I got a little bit of footage for you, but I think I'm going to do um, quite a bit of editing on that, hopefully, just put some music in and stuff, but make it look good. Um, <coughs> ugh, that cough. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing shortly. That video will be coming up soon. Not today, I don't think. Um, unless my mum's like all good with me staying in her, out here a bit longer. Um, which I don't think she will be. If you guys do want to um, see, actually, oh, I do have it here. Mm -hmm. Honda. I do have a Honda brochure. Um, let's see if we can find the one I'm talking about for you. It's not there, not there. Oh, that's, this is the one here I've currently got. Yep, HRX217, um, premium, um, this is one of the ones I was thinking about, here, oops, sorry, HRU19, the guy said, yeah, nah, can't do that, these are all Honda prices, by the way, no one sells these things at Honda prices, and if you do, you're an absolute idiot, because no one will buy it off you, <laughs> um, <coughs> um, where is it, Long range, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> this is what they've done, guys. Well done. Um, <clears throat> this is the one I think I'm gonna get. The HIU one nine six M one. Um, or oh, there's the. There's my point. Yes. Or oh, they've got one down here. The long range, supposedly. I don't know how an extra five liters in the catcher bag makes it a long range, but apparently it does. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a it's a what's a long range one now because we've got five extra liters in the catcher bag. Yeah. Um, mm. Shannon, I told you to shut up before. Um, I should put that aside, shouldn't I? Be quiet. Um, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I reckon they're both the same price. I don't know. I think there's a bit more of a price difference when you look at the, um, Red Shed prices or Mower Power prices. 
Um, so I'll have a look. I know which one I get. I don't really care. Five extra liters. Um, the place where I'm going to use it the most is either my tiny Ashburton property um, <clears throat> or my three lawns in the one street, which I might end up getting four or five in the one street. And those are all mulched anyways. I, I mulched the entire street. I used to bag a couple of... I used to bag one of the properties. The first property I owned that street, but then I kind of... <clears throat> it was just kind of like, yeah, if you want to do mulching, just whatever. Because I was like, well, you know, I... I am... Um, mulch the neighbor's property, I mulch the property across the road, so, you know, mulch all three, just makes life a little bit easier, because I can, you know, mow all of them at once without changing the catcher bag, and, you know, all that kind of thing, even though I can easily just flip the little lever, because I've got the HRX 217, but yeah, so, <clears throat> the mulch plug, I don't really care about a, um, catcher bag, but, and again, if I was going to, um, go for the, um, the hmm? Honda Commercial. Apparently the HIC 216 PDU there is a Honda Commercial. Can you see that? Yeah. See that there? Can you even see that? Oh, no. No, you can. Right here. They call that a Honda Commercial. And they've got the residential engine on it. Really? <laughs> Crazy stuff. It's on the HRU 197 as well, but you know, that's kind of like a HRU 19 that has a, um, um, throttle on it. That's the only difference. You pay more than $200 extra for a $15 throttle on your lawnmower. Well done, Honda. Well done. Yep. <clears throat> so... Um, yeah, so one of those HRU196s I'll be getting pretty soon, also maybe I sh oh, should, I tell you, yeah, okay, I'll tell you, um, I was at basketball yesterday because I play basketball, just domestic basketball, um, with one of my friends from school, I played that on Sunday, um, and one of the guys I play with is, um, kind of interested in mowing and stuff, and He's been looking around for a job for a bit, so I'm like, oh, you know, you can come work with me. And he's like, okay, so, you know, I might be um, bringing him on soon in the near future. So, um, if I do, I'll probably make some videos about that. And, you know, his name's Levi, he's a really nice guy. Um, same age as me and everything. Um, <clears throat> that doesn't mean that Peter isn't in the uh, business. Um, he's still, he's still got a really important part in it, he's still my numbers man, and, you know, if I do need help on a really big job, I'll still call him in, um, <clears throat> it's just that, you know, Levi wanted to do something, so I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, we'll sort something out, um, but that's only, that's probable, so, in the near future, we'll probably see Levi joining the, um, J&P crew, so, JWN. Lawn Care and Landscaping Crew. Um, <clears throat> but enough for now, because I want to get this video up, and it takes ages. So, yeah. I'm getting the video there. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about that. Tell me what you think about the new shirts. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be really interested in um, uh, Yeah, your um, comments and what you think. So, uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.